back here on Summit Sunrise. Good morning, Jim Tillich. Yes, good morning, my Justine. Friend, my friend Jim Tillich is here with the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. Lovely to have you here this morning. Thank you. It's a wonderful day to be here. Well, you know, we were talking about the saga that we have going on with mm -hmm. Chance, our boy Chance, Chance the Cowboy. Yes, Chance Bradley, Chance Hayes. Bradley Chance Really, Hayes. really a well-known and capable cowboy. Right. And a good artist, a really good artist. He's, he's a great many things. He's, uh, his talents know no bounds. Um, but it's so interesting about him because, like I said, we were talking about him and he's a cowboy. And he's also an artist that you feature in your gallery. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and, I mean, you can't separate the cowboy from the artist. Right. So he paints uh, beautiful horses and roping uh, situations and... Uh, horses that he likes. Mm -hmm. He also wants to tie in, and this is interesting about Chance because he's got his own style and mm -hmm. way of thinking as, as he should because an artist wants to put that out there. Right. He wants to keep the American West alive. He wants to keep the Native American honored and alive mm -hmm. and well in people's mm -hmm. memories. Right. And he wants to have some kind of a modern push. Mm -hmm. So he's taking all of that mm -hmm. into the 21st century with dignity and with a lot of color and with fun. And with <laughs> he fun. He loves to have fun. Well, and what's so funny about Bradley Chance Hayes, I just love saying his whole name. Yeah. I wonder if that's what his mom calls him all the time. He, um, you were supposed to have a show with him a couple weeks ago. And why, why wasn't he here? Well, he was supposed to be right here with me. I yes, know, I was expecting right. to see him, my cowboy friend. <laughs> yes. Well, he is in the World Championship of Roping, Calf Roping. Mm -hmm. And this is, of course, the tough one, the athletic one. Mm -hmm. Tie down calf roping. I mean, you rope oh. the calf, you run out there, you tie it down, your horse holds the rope tight, and, and then you've and got to do that. And it's a timed thing. Mm-hmm like seven seconds, so you do all that in seven or eight seconds. And he is, in other words, they invite the top 15 cowboys in the world, I believe is what they do. Okay. He is working his way slowly down. He was 13 and then he was 11 and mm -hmm. he's just working his way to the top, I guess you should, should yes, say. Yes, he really is. He's, um, and he's still on the tour right now for the, the world championships. He is, in fact, it's at, uh, let's see, Calgary, um, they're speaking French there, put it that way. Oh, and so, so well, it sounds like French it's closer Canada. to Quebec. But the yes. point is, it was so interesting that the announcer, and I was watching part of this on TV, the announcer says, Bradley Jan says, da 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 da. And then he goes into French and he talks a little while, and then he comes back oh, to English. Oh, how cool. It's, it adds character to it. And this is why I've been calling it the saga, because like, where is he in the rankings this week? How is right. he doing this week? Right. And we were also talking, um, he's, he's, a, he's a young man, too. He's, he's young. He is. He's 27, going on 28, I believe. And uh, How did he get started painting? His mom mm -hmm. is a painter. Mm -hmm. Actually, she was a high school art instructor. And as an educator, she gave him what he needed so that he could paint. Yes. So what you see is his style. Of course, that's a roper. I mean, you, you've really got the feel of what a cowboy does. Is that a, um, is that a, is that a painting of himself, do you suppose? <laughs> Probably is, because um, I'm, I met one of his uncles. I met mm -hmm. much of his family, many mm -hmm. of his family members. And I believe the gentleman is in his mid-50s, mm -hmm. and he's still bulldogging. Oh, and of I course. Said, well, why not bulldog it in your 50s? You know, I mean, right, of course. Uh, and so Chance grew up with cowboy, mm -hmm. art, ranch, mom, a, a very cultured and gentle woman who mm -hmm. taught. A uh, smorgasbord of, of everything. And he puts it all together and he, he pulls it off very well. It's his life. Well, and I think what's so cool, you mentioned this before in his paintings, the colors that he uses and the brush strokes and it's so it's so dramatic. With any time an artist mm -hmm. puts long lines and uh -huh. almost not the word, word, right word, but like drippy, moving. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all these lines are moving. It gives you an emotional feel. Then, as you can see, you've got cool blues, mm -hmm. and then you've got warm colors surrounding it. So it's kind of a visual. Uh, treat for your eyes. Right, right, right. And well, and the blue adds so much depth to it as well. Mm-hmm. 
And blue always is uh, kind of a royal mm -hmm. color, mm -hmm. kind of an what you would call red is a little bit active, and he's got that hidden in there too. Right. But the blue gives it a stability, and then the earth tones give it, it ties it right to the earth. Right. And you have to consider all these things when you're a natural painter. He's mm -hmm. painting his real life. Right. He's not making he's up not a making, life. No, this is, this is his life. It's a slice of his life that we get a glimpse into when we see his paintings. Right. And sometimes we'll have a, we had a show once and he's late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's a cowboy. He can be late right. if he wants. And so I didn't say anything. And, and he says, yeah. He says, there was a lady that had a flat and I just had to fix it. And I said, oh, we're having a show, you know, we're having a show. <laughs> he says, well, you got to be a gentleman. And, and that's him. Yeah. That's his whole family. Right. They're, well, they're and I met him, he's, he's been here in the studio before, and he's, he's such a nice man, and yes. his work is really fun to see in person. And to check out, where can everyone find his artwork and, and find more information? I've got two large walls of his work okay. in Breckenridge Fine Art, Yep. 421 South Main. Excellent. And we're open, we're still going to be open through September. Wonderful. So, uh, I mean, we'll be open for weekends after that. But the point is, we're open a lot. Excellent. Uh, 10 till 8. 10 till 8. And we've got his work, lots of his work. Well, now that we have some more fall weather coming in and it's getting a little bit cooler, it might be a great time to go and check out the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery and say yes. hello to Jim and check out some of Bradley Chance Hayes' cowboy artwork. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right, guys. That's all the time we have with my buddy Jim this morning, but we'll be back with more Summit Sunrise right after this.